Hello guys, my name is Ivan and today we are going to be talking about elastic launched glider for Science Olympiad. So what is a glider? A glider is a light aircraft that is designed to fly for long periods without using an engine. So how does it work? So there are three main forces that act on the glider. Here you have lift, which pushes it up, drag, which pushes it that way, and weight, which pulls it down. And next to that, this picture, there's a bunch of different parts of the glider that some of it will be useful, some of it won't, like you probably won't have a cockpit or something like that, but some else. Some other stuff of it is useful, so you can just have a look at that. I'm not going to go through all of them. So during competition, you have to use a launcher and send your glider up into the air and try to attain the maximum time in flight. And when you're launching, the elastic must stay on the launch handle, and if it comes off, it's you basically start your flight. And I'll, I will talk more about the competition on a later slide so construction there's not a lot of rules so it must be heavier than 2.5 grams and lighter than 10 grams your wingspan may not exceed 30 centimeters and a lip balm cap must fit on the nose so basically what they want you to have is a more rounded nose so when you put the cap on it goes like that Instead of when you have a sharper nose and the lip uh, bottom cap just fits on and that's what they don't want and you will be tiered for that because that would be against the rules. Okay, so materials, pretty much the only material is balsa wood and all you can do is there's three different types, and if you look at the picture on the right, right here, uh, right here, that's basically a tree trunk, and you can look to how, where each of the different types of grain come from. So there's A grain, B grain, C grain. And then if you look at this picture, it just shows you the, the different textures. And based off what kit or what plan or what own design you guys choose, you choose a different type of grain. Tools, um, you could use a laser cutter, but when you laser cut it, it burns the wood. You, most people use an X-Acto knife, which is basically using a knife to cut balsa. And for glues, you can use Bob Smith Industries glue, or you can use CA glue. And that's the only two I've really seen, so. Uh, when you launch your glider, here's um, kind of a step-by-step -step thing that I found off of Sioli.org. So I did not write this. So what you want to do is you want to hold the launcher in one hand and the glider attached to the, to the elastic loop in the other. So most of the time you want to have your nose piece something like that and then your string able to attach here so it just loops around and then this edge we looped around the pole and this is a bad drawing. So you want to stretch the elastic to however long you want it. Usually everyone just stretches it full just for consistency. And the loop should be in a vertical, vertical line. So you move the glider a small distance horizontally away from the launch handle so it doesn't hit the launch handle and that's pretty self-explanatory. And you want to tilt the system so it's 70 to 80 degrees in respect to the ground. So you want it kind of pointing like that with this being the ground. And then you want to roll the glider about 45 degrees, which is basically tilting it, tilting the wings so they are also at an angle, so it does a corkscrew ascent up, ascent up, and then you just launch it. 
So here are three terms I, that you probably want to know. So roll is tilting the glider to the left and to the right about the axis of the fuselage. And the part of the glider that controls the roll is the ailerons. Pitch is tilting the nose up and down and you would control that with the elevator. And yaw is turning the glider towards the right or the left. And that is how you make it circle downwards, which is controlled by the rudder. These three places are all in the picture on the second slide, so you can refer to that. And scoring, there's two bonuses you can get, which is multiplying your score by 1.1. So one is the length if your fuselage is longer than 32 centimeters. And then there's a starting bonus. So if you start within one minute of your five minute test period you get another starting bonus and then your score is the sum of the three longest accumulated accumulated flight scores and you can have up to five official flights with two gliders or you could just use one and trimming so the day you get to the gym you can do some trim flights but be sure to tell the timer and what you want to do is basically just practice, practice, practice at home or in school or even outside, which is not the best idea. And you want to adjust your plane by different dimensions, different ceiling heights, different widths, adjusting how big your circle is. And last, you want to have a flight log. And in the rules, it specifies four things that you want to include which um, you can just check the rules and I can read it to you. It's um, estimated recorded peak flight height, uh, approximate length of elastic, which it, when it's relaxed, flight time, and then you have to choose one more parameter, which can be anything. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.